Father. Oh, the Honorable Father, you are the veteran of this. You are so directed. Now you are well dressed. You may proceed. Mr. Speaker, I am, I, it's much obliged. Of course, I respect the chair, and I'll definitely uh, listen to what the chair is. But this is not the colors of any republic. Tell me which republic. It's not Tanzania. It's not Israel. No, there's no a republic called Hamas. There is, there is a liberation movement which, which needs the support of everybody in this country called the Palestine and the Palestinian rights. Now, those of you who have a problem with that, can I just finish? Those of you, can I just finish? This order, can I, Mr. Speaker? Honorable Farah, Mr. I, I want to continue, finish. I want to continue, okay. I, I will continue. Allow, allow, allow Farah to finish. I want to continue, Mr. Speaker. I want to continue, Mr. Speaker. Please, you only have 30 seconds. Mr. Speaker, I, I want to continue. These people took away all, all my time. For, 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 for showing solidarity with the poor victims of Gaza. But anyway, uh, I'm talking about, let me come back to the, the major issue that was there, which is the petition. And those of you who think they're going to join the nobility and basically think that you can also enjoy that one time because you'll get these exemptions, or you'll also become so powerful as to be able to destroy other people like the Palestinians being destroyed is up to you. But anyway, anyway, <laughs> my position is that, my position is that, <laughs> My position is that this exemption of taxes was wrong. This country is a republic. There is no special place. There are no special privileges. Although my own house wants to give special privileges to the Israelis to destroy uh, poor Palestinians, but we don't want to have that within our own property and estate, what you call traditions in this country. And I think it's only fair that this petition is carried and supported fully, and I support it. Thank you. Very well, Honorable Gikaria. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, as uh, much as the petitioners have a right uh, to come and uh, petition, and of course that is a constitutional right, Honorable Speaker, it is also important for us to remember the founding fathers of this nation. Uh, the, the people who passed this law then, in, uh, I think in 1960s, had, had a purpose. Honorable Speaker, it's also important for us to remember 